What's up people, Marco here, welcome back to another ukulele video. Today we're going to be reacting to another awesome ukulele player. A few weeks ago I posted a video of me reacting to Jake Shimabukuro, which is an absolute monster. And I really loved making the video because you can learn so many things by playing along and listening to these awesome players. Of course, top comment on that video was, please, 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 please react to Taimane, which hopefully I'm pronouncing her name correctly. Another absolute monster on the uke. I'm super excited because, again, guys, there are so many things that we can learn. So Taimane is an American ukulele virtuoso, but she was born uh, in Honolulu. And she's been playing since she was five years old, which makes absolute sense. I mean, these people have been playing the uke for so many years, and I think she's between 25 and 30, I think. Think. So it means that she's already uh, been playing for uh, what over 20 years. All right, so let's go on YouTube, check her YouTube channel. And what we're going to do today, guys, we're going to react to different videos. So we're going to analyze her playing and hopefully I can, you know, kind of break down what she does, which I think is way better than just sit down and listen to the thing and just go like, oh my God, this is so beautiful. So we kind of want to learn from this awesome player, right? I'm going to do my best. It's not the easiest thing to break down her playing but let's just go for it and let's just check some of the most viewed videos all right so just before we uh, listen to her playing she's using a five strings ukulele i'm not sure about the size it looks like a baritone so it's a little bigger than a tenor and she's using five strings now, i'm not sure about the tuning as well so let's just check it out all right so the first thing you notice, look how confident she is. It's insane to just sit on the couch, you start playing, and you're already into the music, and she's already doing the most impossible strumming thing, right? But for her, it's so natural. And look at her face, she's just so happy, and she's already into the music. Um, now, nice chord progression. And we are in standard tenor ukulele, so you have A, you got E, you got C, and you got G on the fourth string, but she has a double G, so two octaves, high G and low G. Yeah. So this is the number one flamenco chord progression. Now this strumming technique is absolutely unbelievable, guys. Huh? Um, she's kind of doing this kind of rasgiado. But again, we can't really label that because to be honest with you, like this is her thing, so. But I think she starts with like three fingers and then it's mainly done with the index. It's really fast. But you know, forget about it. Yeah, you see, this one is done just with the index finger. Not the easiest strumming thing. So one thing that you can get from this video is definitely her strumming technique. Now, she's playing single notes and we already, uh, you know, saw this way of playing with the thumb. You know, uh, Jake Shimabukuro was actually using the same technique. And I think a lot of ukulele players like to play just with the thumb. We're gonna move on to something else, but awesome, insane rhythmic technique. The strumming technique is absolutely insane and her confidence is incredible. Let's just try something else. I think one of the songs that you requested was Fire, which we're going to try to listen to the live version. Um, I really love this venue. I think it's just insanely beautiful. And again, she's using a five strings uke, which is awesome. And you see the right hand technique. She's holding the ukulele with the right hand and she's plucking just with the thumb. It's just, I mean, it's a unique way of playing, which should make everything way more difficult to play. But, you know, um, it doesn't seem to affect her playing. <laughs> So there's always this flamenco vibe in what she plays. And her playing is always, always quite rhythmic. All right. 
right, so we are, so she's playing over two chords. It's kind of an impro over two chords and I really love this phrase. This is four notes. They're very quick. So I think the chord is this one and the A minor, so it's playing over two chords. And this one is diminished arpeggio. And then something else. Yeah. So and it's everything everything is played with the thumb. I just can't do it with the thumb though. And then we have and then we have the A minor. She's an absolutely beautiful performer. She looks beautiful on stage. Yeah, you see how she changes uh, the right hand approach. So sometimes she plays with the thumb, now she's playing with thumb and index. Nice thirds. So one of the main things that I love about her style is the fact that she is, she's always into this flamenco rhythmic um, style. So we checked two videos and this is quite you know prominent in her playing. So I want to try to find something that is a little, a little bit more melodic. I think I watched this video a few months ago. Beautiful place. Now, look how versatile she is. We checked two videos, she's so rhythmic and there is so much, you know, virtuoso stuff in these videos. And now she's playing the most beautiful classical piece and she has a lovely and sweet tone. Now, tone comes from your right hand, so it's the way she's plucking the strings, which is now sweet and beautiful. And I think she's using the ring finger, which is something that I never really notice in her playing. Beautiful classical piece. You see how she plays everything around the sound hole, which is the sweetest spot. Instead of playing here. So it's a completely different thing and the more you play, the more you understand where you want to hit the strings to have that, that nice sweet tone. So there is definitely a lot of practice and a lot of understanding of the instrument here. So let's just try to find something else. Great venue, I mean this video has 3.4 million views, the most beautiful venue in the world. Now there is a little bit of the, uh, I think a reverb, the uh, reverb effect. And some delay as well. Beautiful playing. You 
see how she changes the right hand approach? It's just insanely beautiful. So she went from playing with thumb and index, I think, playing this third, so, uh, which fret is that? And then she changes the right hand and she starts plucking with the thumb. Beautiful playing. Yeah, I think she's doing thumb, middle and index. Beautiful playing. Well, she is overall an awesome, awesome player. She's a great inspiration for a lot of, you know, ukulele players. And, you know, thank you so much for what you do, the music that you play, and thank you so much for inspiring us. Uh, all the links to her channel and her music will be in the description down below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you like it. I'll talk to you soon.